Williams here with a little walkthrough of um, the Soundblaster GC7. I'm going to walk you through the software and what it can actually do with the software. Now, if you don't know, if you open up the package right here, inside here it walks you through how to connect it up and use it and everything else, which is pretty good, pretty standable. Um, inside the box, you'll get a paper. And with this QR code, you download the app on your store. Um, you can use the QR code or you can just download, um, you know, the X SXFI app uh, right off the, on your PC. I'm using it on my PC. So that is what we're going to do. I'm going to switch over. The next scene you're going to see is the screen and the screen capture. I'm going to walk you through everything. Okay, now that I have my screen up, you're gonna un, un, uh, you're gonna open up the creative app. I have it right here in the middle. This will pop up all the software that you need for the GC7 Sound Blaster. As you can see, once it's up, it's gonna check see if you need updates. You know, connecting your device, all that good stuff. And now, as you guys can see right here, let's see if I can enlarge it. So you can't enlarge it. So I would have loved. There we go. Full screen. All right. We're now full screen. You guys can see this. Here is the picture of the GC7. You have your profile over here. So if you have an account, you can create account. I don't have it logged up, but you can create account. Um, several things you can do. You have over here, you have your device. You have your playback. If you check the playback, that's pretty much where we're right here. Playback. You can check your playback quality, you know, headphones, speaker line out, line out, and headphone jack. You can test it to make sure the headphones sound good. You can change the bit rates, set as default, you know, and stuff like that. Recording, same thing. Um, audio recording line, you can check those sets, defaults, microphones, and SPDIF interfaces. Let's go back to your device. So here is where you're going to do a lot of stuff. Sound mode. If you guys want sound mode, here's sound mode. You can change your surround sound, crystallizer, bass. Um, smart dialogue and equalizer. If you guys want an equalizer, you know, gaming, music, movies, footstep enhancer. So that is like if you're playing first person shooters, you can do all that. And it keeps going. Like you can change, like, you know, Tom Clancy, Rocket League, Project Cars. It's like set up for everything. Speakers, you click over to speakers. It goes over the only active output can work there. So you guys can't see that. I don't actually have speakers hooked up to that. Now we'll back up. Now, if you want a quick change, you can just do a quick change sound mode right there. Um, Super Sci-Fi X-Fi app, you download that, and then that's a whole nother software. Scout mode, you can turn scout mode on. This will help, um, you know, hear speech, weapons, footsteps a lot better. Acoustic engine, this is where you adjust all, pretty much all the same stuff I just showed you, but it changes it up some more. Decoder, um, this is a player Adobe Digital Media with uh, ease of using the integrated decoder with the dynamic range control. Um, wide volume swides, you know, night full adjustments. Um, mixer, if you guys want to mix up and, you know, adjust your devices, you know, recordings and monitors and device outputs, you know, stereo or SP, DIF, pass through. Equalizer, this is where you can completely adjust your equalizer if you want. We're not going to mess with that. Crystal voice, noise reduction, if you want noise reduction. Morph voice, you can morph the voice. It's like, you know, male, female, kid, elderly, deep voice, demon, dwarfs, chipmunks, stuff like that. You can change it there. Microphone equalizer, you know, if you want to change your micro microphone equalizer. Custom buttons, this is what we get asked a lot. There are four buttons on the front. You can customize C1, C2, C3, and C4. So this is C1. As it is right now, it's on sound mode, first-person shooter, battle royale, and MOBA. You can change it to scout mode, mic monitoring, output switch, none, media control. So if you wanted to do player pause, next track, previous track. Navigation, if you wanted to open and launch something like, let's click this open. Let's say we wanted to launch Battle.net launcher, you know. Do this and we'll press C1. Now that I press C1, it should load it. There it is, it's loading it. Now you it's a quick load. If that's what you want, you can pretty much set it to any app to load, which is pretty nice. Text and emoji. So if you wanted to like text like that, 
you know, you do that and it'll do it. You can set up any text or emoji that you want. Like, you know, let's say good game. You could do that. Keystrokes. If you wanted to map a keystroke, like let's say control alt delete. You know, you guys, if that's what you want, you could do that. If you want to do, um, let's say um, shift one, let's map it shift one. You know, there it is. That's pretty much what you can do with that. And you have four buttons to do that in. You can also change the color. So if you don't like the coloring, it is fully RGB and it can be changed. So that is the walkthrough of the SoundBuster GC7 software and customized buttons. And thanks for checking out this video and keep your eyes out for more.